Hello everyone, Carl and Marik here from the Cartels Prediction Association and you're watching Coffee with Cartels. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you can see, Marika is tuning in from the office and I am working from home today. And that is my gorgeous Sylvester fast asleep in some donated um, goods that were given to us. So I truly hope that the internet does not give us any issues once again, as we had a bit of a glitz earlier on, and that we are not too fuzzy. And if you hear a dog bark, it clearly is Sylvester fast asleep in the box and not my three. <laughs> I did give them a talking to and said that they cannot be barking or making any noises because mommy is live on Coffee with Cartels. So folks, thank you so much for tuning in and for liking and sharing our page. And um, as an equine welfare organization, we need all the exposure and support we can muster up. And apologies once again for that glitch earlier on. We are back on and we are once again live. Folks, our 2022, oh, 23 calendar is receiving absolute, absolute rave reviews, as usual. And for only 140 rand, including postage via the post office, you can see a beautiful, beautiful horse every month with its own unique story. This is a big source of income for us, for us every year. So get your orders in today. And as I showed you, meet Billy, who only allows Marlon to shoe him. Billy is so comfortable that he proceeds to have a nice little snooze on Marlon's back. But the love and respect is mutual and Marlon absolutely loves it. Furry work is back breaking enough. But if a client is happy, so is Marlon. Folks, Cape Talk, RS here, Cape TV are all, all talking about our epic, epic road trip on the cart on the 29th of November for Giving Tuesday, where we will be needing to raise over 100,000 rand for the working cart horses. As fundraisers, we will do whatever it takes to raise money for these precious, precious souls. So please go to our Facebook page. We will be sharing you our route and deep dig as we need to raise as the slide shows over 100,000 rand. Folks, today we will be talking about another really, really important service of ours, humane working conditions. Horses are inspected on the road to ensure that they are in good condition. We check that they have received proper hoof care, their harness and cart are in good condition, and their stables and living conditions are also checked regularly to make sure that they, as we do, have a good night's rest in a nice warm bed. Kelly, Kerry Crosley from Penn Marine Shipping absolutely, absolutely loves the work that we do and has sponsored not one, not two, but four episodes. They have been in operation since the 70s and are shipping cargo and are a shipping cargo brokerage company. Penn Marine facilities facilitates exports of bulk materials such as ferrochrome, mineral sands, and chrome ore from South Africa to worldwide destinations. Thank you so much, Kerry, for believing in Coffee with Cartels as well as our mandate. And please go to karen at cartels.org.za if you would like to if you would like to um, sponsor one of our programs and as we receive thousands and thousands of views. Folks, this is why we are on the road. Miss Kiepis was found pulling this cart with not only a shell of a taxi, but loads and loads of metal rubble inside it. The worst thing is she was pregnant. She was immediately confiscated and taken to our recovery and rehabilitation center in Gordons Bay. There, Miss Kepis received all the TLC she deserved at our five-star hotel. And before we knew it, her foal was born. 
darling Jasmine will never ever experience having to work in a cart and neither will her mom ever again. What a lovely story. Folks, so many people ask us, how can we tell if a cart is overloaded? Horses that are 13 hands, which is our cart horse average, they can pull a load of about 800 kilos. Yes, 800 kilos. And the cart, which more or less weighs 230 kgs and two people weighing about 130 kilograms, and the load plus minus 320 kilograms is doable. If the cart pulls true, no broken shafts, the horse is in good condition and load well balanced. This is acceptable. Please remember folks, horses and donkeys are worked all over the world. Ours look 20 times better than most countries. We are clearly doing something right thanks to you, our donors, that can keep on educating and monitoring the working cart horses and owners of um, the working cart horses. So please help us keep our inspectors on the road as we patrol about 75 hours a week, if not more. So please don't hesitate to call if you have anything that does not look right. Our number on the screen is 0826 599 599 and please put them in your contacts. We are available 24 7 for any, any um, queries that you might have. Perfect Timing was born in a very good family, but they fell on hard times and Cartos provided them with much needed feed assistance. Perfect Timing's good owner unfortunately died and Perfect Timing was sold onto an owner we had a very bad history with. We had prosecute, prosecuted the new owner for neglect before, and he had been found guilty, but died before sentencing was handed down. We really hoped that the new head of the family would be able to be educated enough in equine knowledge, and, would, and we would assist him wherever we could. But we received several complaints from the carting community, actually, that this pony was being abused. But somehow, somehow they always managed to slip away when they were on the road. When law enforcement contacted Chief Inspector Diana Tritter in 2020 about a horse being abused, she knew exactly who they were talking about, even though perfect timing had the incorrect board on his cart. There was no way she would let this boy go back to his owners. Remember, we need to find them in the act of abuse if no visible signs can be found. In, to everyone's absolute relief and delight, perfect timing was confiscated for good, never ever to be abused in a cart again. And there he is, still looking for his forever home. He's been put into our adoption program. <laughs> Hi, folks. If you have just joined us, you are watching Coffee with Cart Horse. And if you were watching from the beginning, you would have seen a slight little glitch. I am playing around with some technical <laughs> things to get ready for Giving Tuesday because the next time you see us, we'll be on the back of Theo's cart. <laughs> This year, Karen and I are taking our fundraising on the road. We are getting on the cart with Theo and we are leaving Freedom Farm at about eight in the morning and then driving on the cart all the way to Monte Vista. We will be live streaming all of this so that you, the viewer, can see exactly what happens on the road, what the horses go through, what they see, what the dangers are. And also, we will be highlighting the services that we offer these horses to ameliorate all the dangers and the things that they face on the road. But of course, Giving Tuesday is a day of giving. We need to raise 105,000 Rand on this day. But you can start giving already. You don't need to wait until Giving Tuesday. 
So you can sign into carthorse.org.za forward slash Giving Tuesday 2022, and it'll take you to a form where you can donate securely and safely via PayFast. So you can start donating right now towards this goal of 105,000 Rand. On the cart, we will also have some calendars. We will let you know where we are. And if you have time, I know it's a Tuesday and some people might be at work, but if you have time or if you're in the area, please pop in, say hello to us, come and meet the horses, meet the drivers and help us raise our target. We are really looking forward to the day and we are planning to have great fun and take you along for the ride. Rebecca, thanks so much. Yes, we are so, so looking forward to it and um, very, very excited to be on the carts and to experience a day in the life of a cart horse and their owner. Thank you once again, Kerry from Penn Marine for donating, um, sorry, for sponsoring this program and um, three more after this. And folks, if you've missed any of our interesting episodes, you can still access them on our Facebook Facebook page and YouTube channel, there is something for everyone to see. And please don't forget to like and share our Facebook page. We need all your friends, family, colleagues, and yes, even your boss to know about the cause that you support. So we will see you again on the 29th of November, where, as Marika said, we'll be live streaming and you can see firsthand the challenges and everything that we and the Carties face on a daily basis. So you can see where your donations are going. Thank you, folks. And until then, please be safe and take care. Bye now. Bye-bye.